Okay, folks, uh, this is yet another job beginning. Uh, there's a rotten floor here, right across the center here, and all back into where the ground the toilet. Um, first thing to do is obviously cut the floor out. And with that, I'll be using the multi-tool. Uh, this here uh, tool here with the little Japanese blade on the end of it works really well to to just cut down along the wall. Once that is done, um, I'll be cutting out about 12 to 14 inches around the whole perimeter and then putting purlins in between the floor joists in order for the new floor to have something solid to sit on. Uh, once that is done and the rest of the floor has been taken out, I'll be coming back in with brand new uh, Advantech from Lowe's, which is a very sturdy lifetime guaranteed water not waterproof, but uh, water resistant, maybe uh, flooring material, which is a uh, good product to put in a bathroom or a kitchen or anywhere where there's going to be a potential for water exposure. So anyway, uh, I'll just keep you uh, posted as the uh, job progresses. And uh, with that, I'll leave you to get back to your jobs and whatever else you're doing. Thanks okay, for watching. folks, picking up where I left off yesterday. Uh, after taking the floor out, uh, I was not able to preserve the integrity of the center section. I had to take it all out. I was going to leave just a little section in the center to sit on while I work the purlins on uh, into the area. But purlins are these little braces here, these pieces that go in between the floor joists in order to uh, have something to nail to all along the back here. Uh, a little ledger here also. And then underneath the, the counter as well. And a few here in the center where my foot's at. That's just to support the uh, center of the board that'll be going down. I'm gonna have to be a little uh, creative around the toilet flange here. I'm gonna come across and then back at an angle and put that piece in first and then the next piece will slide in around that. And the reason I'm doing that is first of all I've got to accommodate for the hole for the flange as well as the water line coming through. So the, the cut I'll make from about uh, the back left corner of the flange back at a 45 will pick up uh, the, the water line. I'll drill a small three quarter inch hole and uh, when I bring those two together, the water line will be uh, taken care of in that. And I'll put a, uh, a ledger there to nail on to, as well as one over here. So um, I won't put those in until I find out exactly where I'm cutting. Then that board will come all the way back up to underneath the counter and uh, over 48, over to this being right, I guess it's this one right. I'm sure I'm not stepping through here. From uh, this corner over, I'll bring a 48, uh, a four by eight piece as far as it needs to come under here, and uh, a little less than 48 inches across here. And then I will turn another 48 this way, coming as far over here as I can. It'll actually come back into the counter here 48 inches and then I'll be left with a little strip here and I'll when I put that strip in here I will have to put ledgers underneath that area there where I nail the joints to. Okay, here is the first of the uh, corner pieces as I mentioned there would be a hole here where the uh, water pipe will come up in the joint between the two pieces like that right there You'll see momentarily where I'll uh, put these two together and uh, the toilet flange worked out really, really good. And the other piece will just, the other piece now will just slide up against that. That's really the only way to do it without major surgery to the plumbing. So uh, I 
I've got to cut out for the duct work here and then I'll uh, bring the other piece in and uh, hook it up and you'll see. And again, I'll have to put ledgers under here so, to uh, nail a screw to under here so that that'll be something solid. So I've got the uh, purlins cut in for this now. And uh, as you'll see, I'll have support under here. I have support under there, and also on that corner there. The other piece will slide right up against it. So, I'm gonna go get so that. inevitably, when you're putting in a piece this large with offsets like this here to include uh, several inches under the counter, and you're trying to slip the wood under the flange, it's not going to work. So, just to show you how to uh, eliminate this as being a problem, um, this line here I've drawn. I'm going to be taking my jigsaw and taking a real thin slice out of that. Doing the same thing I did over here with the uh, the uh, purling, purling supports. We'll put purling support right underneath that, which will make it as solid and uh, secure as it would be anywhere else. And um, based on the fact it's just a small area, um, it'll, it'll be just Wind up with uh, a nice, actually, you push this together, you can feel it. It's almost, well, it's not invisible, but it's not going to be a major problem to overcome. And like I said, we'll, there's already a piece of a purlon right here. We'll put another one right here, slide that piece right back over here. Good to go. So, here's what we have after. Uh, Lay the floor in, again, back here, around the toilet flange. It's virtually will be impossible to <laughs> tell that it's nice and flush. Nice and flush. Uh, screwed about every six to eight inches to the floor joist, so uh, no chance of nails coming back through the floor. Two and a half inch wood screws. And um, I did have to cut this piece here in order to get the large piece here underneath the flange. And then over here, because of the length at that corner, I had to go underneath that corner, also underneath this corner, as well as underneath the counter. I just did another joint here, further secured that, and then this joint here, put the pearl ends underneath there. So everything is solid as a rock. So the next thing to do is to put the loo on down, put the floor in and uh, put the baseboard down and wrap it up. Appreciate it guys. This is what you have folks when you're done. Um, loo on, stapled ever, ever one of these uh, squares or X's. Um, I had to do the same thing right here as I did before going this way on the uh, interlayment. I had to cut this side so that I could <clears throat> join the hole for the the water pipe here. And, um, and so uh, it turned out really nice. Very solid. Clients will be happy. And, uh, Florida will be in in a few days and I'll give you an update as to how that progresses and what it looks like when it's done. So, uh, thanks for watching folks.